I'm trying to really go a day without just laughing at how the left and the Democrats are acting nowadays. I mean, they're just acting like just unhinged children. So Ronnie Jackson has been a White House physician since 2006, since the Bush administration. And he was appointed the physician to the president in July of 2013 by Barack Obama. Um, so it's been a couple of years now where he's been the physician to the president. Uh, he's been in the White House as a physician for over 10 years now. So this whole narrative, as long as I can remember, is that Trump is mentally ill, he's unhinged, uh, he, he, he is not in shape, he is unfit to be president, he is mentally unstable. So, President Trump has his physical the other day, and Ronnie Jackson says he is A-OK. -okay. Ronnie Jackson, an American medical, American medical doctor, White House physician since 06, physician to the president since 2013, who was appointed by Obama. He is a United States Navy Admiral, Defense Superior Service Medal, Legion of Merit, Navy and Marine Corps Commendation Medal. But Sanjay Gupta, who, you, you know, the, that annoying commercial that you hear on WABC in New York, Sanjay Gupta, and the freaking thing is beeping, beep, 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 beep. Uh, he, he, he plays a doctor on TV. He says on CNN that Trump has heart disease. Hasn't even looked into him, hasn't even examined him, and he's going to disagree with a guy like Ronnie Jackson. What, I mean, what are these people doing? I mean, at, at, at some point, you just want to just take everybody on the left and go, English, please. Can, can you please, because you're just speaking incoherently, can you just please speak in English? How many of the keys you got, Tucker? In English, please. Excuse me. In English. How many of the fucking keys you got, Tucker? What the fuck? I mean, you got to just, English, please. That's what we got to do here. So... Now, the left now is attacking Ronnie Jackson, and oh, it, it's not true. It's not true. Trump, Trump is obese. Trump is overweight. Trump is not medically fit. Folks, I love how now health is an issue with President Trump. But when Hillary Clinton was coughing and wheezing all over the place on the campaign trail and she was fainting, oh, she's fine, she's fine, and, and how dare dare you? How dare you? Her health is off limits. How can you do that? How can you bring up Mrs. Clinton's health? Oh, God, disgusting. Isn't it, isn't it the same thing? It's the same thing. Then you have um, Cory Booker, that race-baiting grandstanding senator from New Jersey, and he just demeaned this woman in a hearing. Demeaned her. And he asked her straight out, did Trump say the word shithole? She says she didn't hear it. On MSNBC, he's asked, and he says that she's lying under oath. Well, how do you know she's lying under oath? She didn't say that he didn't say it. She said that she didn't hear it. So that's lying under oath. I, I mean, I, oh God, I can't. I can't. Then, what's funny is this whole DACA deal, it's not getting done. The Democrats aren't, aren't, aren't playing ball now. And it's like, oh, well, maybe there'll be a deal tomorrow. Maybe there'll be a deal tomorrow. Maybe there'll be a deal tomorrow. Well, tomorrow 
is turning into today, tomorrow is turning into today, tomorrow is turning into today, and there's no deal. You know, I mean, and th there is a, a, a chance of a government shutdown on Friday. So, you gotta get this done. I mean, you just can't wait until tomorrow to get it done. Fuck the tomorrow! <laughs> you know fuck that I'm done tonight! Fucking bullshit! I mean, Trump is probably sitting there in the, in the Oval Office. And, and listen, th th there have been uh, uh, um, theories that he didn't want to win. I've said it that he ran... And I don't think he thought he was going to go this far, and I really don't think that he wanted to win. He's probably sitting there, in the White House, sitting back in the chair, going, Why are you? Why me? Why me? Why me? Why him? I mean, listen, President of the United States is not easy. I mean, and, 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 I, and I, I give all these people credit. Even Obama, even Bush, even Clinton, I mean, it is not hard I mean, and it, it is not easy to run a country, especially nowadays when you have the, the whole social media craze and, you know, the, the, the media is just so biased and, and, and in your face and you have all these biased networks. It is tough to run a country. Nobody's ever happy. But I, I don't understand it. And, and then, like, we're going to play this later. There, there is audio of Bill Clinton Basically going off on immigration, and, and, and Obama the same thing, the same thing that Trump's saying. And Clinton and Obama were, were, were being, you know, they, they stood up and they applauded for Clinton. And nobody said a word when Obama said anything about immigration, about illegal immigration. But Trump says it, and, 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 he, and he's a racist. Obama could say, and, and Clinton could say, and a Democrat could say all they want. But Trump says, and he's, and he's a racist. I just can't do it. Jesus! I mean, it, it's just insane. <sighs> but we have audio of Obama and Clinton talking about illegal immigration, and it sounds very similar. And we'll discuss that uh, 